Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to solve the St. Paul Electrical Station Facility in Dying Light 2. So it's worth mentioning I've already swam around and opened all the doors up and did all of that. This is just a, once you're done all of that, how to connect these final electrical stations. So let's start with number one. You can connect to number one by diving down right below uh, the number one station and grabbing the electrical socket here. It is worth mentioning if you haven't opened both the A and B doors over there and over here, you'll need to use the number one outlet in order to do that. So the number two outlet is plugged in, in the, uh, over there. So we need to go to the electrical station for number two, which is in the water and to the uh, northwest it looks like this is, right in this room here. You can reach this room uh, if the door is locked by swimming through the underwater hallways that uh, you can find in the A area over here. You go down the stairs and then you swim through all of the hallways and you can find uh, that room. And now for the final one, three out of three. We need to go over in this direction here, which is uh, almost directly south. You can reach this area through the hallways that uh, you open up with uh, the B and C electrical terminals. And I'm going to be doing an in-depth walkthrough that shows all of the whole thing, all of the opening doors and stuff like that too. So uh, if you'd rather watch that video, then check for that one on my channel. And number three is in this room here. And that's all there is to it. That's how you connect all three uh, outlets for this electrical station. Once that's done, you can go upstairs, get your inhibitor, turn it on, and choose who you're giving the, uh, the power to. Where's my inhibitor crate? I think it'll put me right next to it after I activate the facility anyway. So I am doing a Peacekeeper's playthrough, which means I'm going to give it to them. And there you go. That is all there is to it. The last thing you would need to do is find your inhibitor crate to uh, make sure you get that, which it'll be in the same slot it always was inside the building. So I'll get, grab that after this video. Aside from that, though, hopefully this video uh, helped you guys out. If it did, leave me a like because it helps me out, and I will catch you guys around in future Dying Light 2 videos. Peace.